Hi everyone and welcome to the WP Club YouTube channel. In today's video tutorial, we will speak about the Solidity WordPress plugin. Solidity is a WordPress plugin that helps you turn your simple website into the full developed digital content stock market. You can monetize the content of your website, for example, images, audios, uh, tutorials, apps, phones, etc. Let's dive in and learn everything about the Solidity plugin. So the Solidity plugin helps you monetize and showcase uh, digital goods. This is the gallery page uh, where all the content is displayed and uh, people can make a purchase from this page. So all the digital goods are displayed here with uh, their prices. Uh, here you can uh, filter uh, by uh, apps, audio, video, image, 3D model, document, font, classified and tutorial. That means uh, you can um, monetize all this content also you can see the search input where you can write uh, for example um, uh, the name the title of an app and search uh, for your desired app also you can uh, sort by trending and new arrivals and you can of course clear all the filtering so let's open a single content page and see how it actually looks like. For example, we can go to the games. Uh, we choose the games category and open the WinRap. Uh, here you can see a small description about uh, this content. Uh, here you can see that it has lifetime single license and yearly five licenses. Uh, it is a paid uh, product uh, and you need to click on the download button, uh, make a purchase and download it. Also, you can click on the view purchases button and uh, view uh, the purchases you, you have made. Uh, we can go back and check another uh, content, for example, not pet. Uh, here again, you can see a small description about uh, this uh, tool. Uh, then uh, it is not a paid one and it's eligible to download for free. And all you need to do is to click on a download button and download it. The Solidity plugin has uh, three parts. Uh, the first part we have already discussed, which was the gallery part. And this part is meant to display the content of your uh, website and uh, where the users can make a purchase for their desired products. Uh, also, the plugin offers the admin dashboard and user dashboard. In the admin dashboard, the administrator of the website can uh, manage uh, all the content reports and settings. And in the user dashboard, the uh, customers can manage their own parts. So let's open the admin dashboard. Here is it. Here, the administrator of the website can uh, manage the settings, reports, uh, see all these pages and manage all the content. So the first page we're going to discuss is the uh, app inventory and uh, here you can see the ID, title of the app, contributor, uh, category, uh, price, download, status, either draft or published uh, and the date of the creation. Uh, here you can uh, sort by uh, the content, uh, you can sort by status, whether rejected, pending, unpublished, published, draft. Uh, and here you can write a keyword and search by that keyword. Um, also, you can add a new inventory by clicking on this button. And uh, here you can uh, see the overview and release management parts. Uh, on the uh, overview part, you can uh, name your app. You can change it um, anytime you prefer. You can add a thumbnail image. Um, you can add a description, text, a sample image or a video. Uh, you can select a category, for example, from the available options. And you can either make the monetization uh, or not. You can set it as free or you can take the paid option. And here you can uh, select uh, plans, either single uh, license uh, for a lifetime or yearly five licenses. Uh, also, what is important is that you can add a new plan if you want. 
to add a new plan just click on this button and here uh, you need to name your plan write a short description about the plan for example you can provide additional information uh, then you can enable um, auto enable for a new app option toggle you can change uh, the subscription model like you can choose the subscri subscription model either monthly yearly lifetime uh, you can set a license key limit default regular price default sales price and once your changes are done you can click on the add button i will cancel for now and once you have uh, made all the changes you can either save uh, the app as a draft or you can publish it and here you can see um, yeah, the release management part and here you can see the version change log and you can um, connect a new file you can attach a new file here and click on the publish button once you are finished so let's go back also you can edit the created apps uh, anytime you prefer by clicking on this dots and then uh, click on the edit button you can also delete the created app and check the releases uh, as we have already checked uh, and here we can click on the edit button so that you can see how you can edit it let's go ahead with the next page which is withdrawals here you can see the contributor amount method status and the date of course uh, also you can uh, filter by status or the uh, by uh, contributor email you can search your desired contributor by uh, email the next page is contributors Here you can see the name of the contributor, the content uh, they have created, earned uh, amount of money they earned, withdrawn, awaiting, withdrawable, and the status of course, uh, approved or uh, pending, rejected or, or revoked. Uh, you can uh, filter by a status and you can search for your uh, preferred uh, contributor in the search input. Then we can pass on to the next page, which is reports. Here you can see two uh, somehow sections, overview and sales. In the overview section, you can see gross revenue, contributor commission, total refunds, net revenue. Also, you can see beautiful charts displaying sales and downloads, the number of sales and the number of downloads. Uh, here you can see recent sales, um, for example, item, sale price, order status, date. Uh, and here you can see recent content, recent contributors and recent payouts. And on the sales part, you can see the content and um, sale price, contributor commission, order status, and the date. Here we go ahead with the settings page. And here we can see general settings and content types. On a general settings, you can uh, choose the contents per page, materials, colors, text color. You can uh, customize them. Uh, you can customize the gallery part. Uh, then uh, cloud storage. Uh, then comes the contributor. You can customize your desired options for the contributor page. And uh, messaging page. Uh, you can customize it the way you prefer. Uh, then you can uh, configure the content type and decide what content types you want to showcase on your website and once you are done with the settings configurations you can just click on the save changes button and save the changes so the next page is my dashboard and of course uh, Solidity uh, Pro license uh, here you need to uh, insert the uh, license key for the plugin so that it will be activated for you and you can use the full functionalities of the plugin so as we are done with the uh, admin dashboard part, we can go ahead and discuss the user dashboard. And here is the user dashboard where the user uh, can see the purchase history and download the uh, purchased digital products. Uh, this is the app inventory uh, part. 
So it is the same inventory management panel, but for the third party contributors, since they can access the admin dashboard, so we can skip this part. So as we have discussed the uh, features and uh, the pages uh, the Solidity plugin offers, so we can check the plugin pricing, which is again very important. Uh, here is the pricing page and here you can see uh, the different packages, uh, standards, standard lifetime, business and agency. Uh, here also you can see the pricing uh, for year and um, you can also see the features each uh, package includes. Uh, you can use on a single side and up to five sides and up to 20 sides. Uh, a, all of them include all features. Uh, here you can see priority support for lifetime or for one year, uh, updates for year or for a lifetime. Uh, and uh, you can see 30 day uh, money back guarantee for all the packages. And having a money back guarantee for the plugin is a great opportunity to test the plugin and uh, uh, if for any reason you don't like the uh, plugin, you can just ask for a refund and uh, the Solidity plugin will do this for you. As you can see, the uh, plugin has a very flexible pricing and uh, all you need to do is just to check the packages, compare them, choose the best uh, option for you and make a purchase by clicking on the buy now button. So this was all about the Solidity plugin. If you find the video informative, don't forget to like, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell for more videos. Bye!